Hello, I'm Joe Rosenberg, a healthcare and biotechnology specialist in NASDAQ Corporate Solutions Advisory Services Team. In conjunction with this week's Bio CEO and Investor Conference being held in New York City, I wanted to bring you our team's outlook for the biotechnology sector in 2015. While we are starting to see discussion around pricing pressure and reimbursement coming back to the forefront, we are still seeing a number of macro themes that will help support valuations in the sector this year. While FX headwinds given the stronger dollar have emerged as a major theme in fourth quarter earnings reports so far, biotech companies, particularly small caps and mid caps, will likely remain relatively immune. The recent fall in the price of oil may also continue to drive generalist money into the sector as these investors look for assets that aren't correlated to commodity prices. Another likely boost for the sector will be the accommodating regulatory environment. The FDA approved 41 new drugs during 2014, the largest number of yearly approvals in at least a decade. 2015 also promises to be a big year for M&A as well as IPOs and secondaries. On the M&A front, companies are focusing on executing transactions that will expand their portfolios of marketed drugs, grow their R&D pipelines, and complement exi existing businesses. For IPOs and secondaries, the environment continues to be favorable with interest rates at historically low levels. Even with the prospect of the Federal Reserve raising rates later this year, financing will still be cheap relative to historical norms. The advisory services team partnered with dozens of companies in the sector that launched IPOs or secondaries in 2014 with a focus on providing post-deal shareholder analysis and ongoing insights through our equity surveillance program. Areas of potential risk we will be continuing to watch include how payer pressures will affect pricing and revenue in the specialty drug space. We'll also be looking for developments around the Affordable Care Act following November's midterm elections. Stay tuned for more insights throughout the year from NASDAQ Corporate Solutions Advisory Services. Also, don't miss NASDAQ EVP Nelson Briggs in the panel discussion, What's Liquidity Got to Do With It?, hosted by NASDAQ at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference.